Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, March 7th. Wow, March already. And it's cold, it's still cold. I'm hoping this is the last uh, time I'm gonna have to tell you that it's cold here in southeastern Pennsylvania, for a while at least, but uh, yeah, temperatures have dropped again. Although I think Tuesday, we're gonna be up in the 60s, so who knows. Uh, I am enjoying some haunted bookshop this morning. Nothing special, but a special pipe. This is my Tim Thorpe. Uh, I think he called this a canted egg. Uh, I can't quite remember, but beautiful pipe. And man, does it smoke well. Tim is a artisan pipe maker. Lives in New Jersey. It's on Instagram. Last name is Thorpe, T-H-O-R-P-E. So look them up. I love the lines on this. Just, I just love that, that sweep. It's got this little bit of an S curve, and then it just swoops on up right through to the bowl. And very, very symmetric. Does nice work. So, we're going to be fighting the furnace today. Be right back. Well, I turned the furnace off. I, it, it was getting ridiculous. So, anyway, hopefully my wife won't try to take a shower in the next 10 to 15 minutes. We can, we can sneak this in, I'm sure. Reloading the pipe because it ran for so long. It's cold. I mean, you can see I'm wearing my... Uh, my corduroy shirt here. Uh, I gotta get more of these. I, I, I bought this, God, a long time ago. Uh, I've got two of them, and I wear them all the time. You know, I only wear them for a couple hours a day, and I, I, I treat them more like sweaters than, uh, than shirts, but they're great. You know, they're, they're rugged, but they're really comfortable. And by rugged, I mean they, they take abuse, not, not that they make me look rugged. I don't need a shirt for that. Uh, anyway, I reloaded with more Haunted Bookshop because I finished the bowl while the furnace was running. And, uh, oh, by the way, thank you, Tony. I've got a lot to do. You know, I've, I've got I've got a stem I'm working on. My lathe desperately needs some maintenance. I got a, I haven't adjusted the gibbs on it in in almost a year now, and that's not good. I generally keep it well oiled, but I haven't oiled it in a couple of weeks, and that's not good. I've been doing a lot of maintenance, you know, cleanup and stuff down here, and it's it's really starting to look good and. I'm excited about that, so I, I want to do more work on that. Uh, I got plenty of stuff to do, so I started doing leather work. I, I, <laughs> now I got to tell you first off. Well, you know what? Let me tell you why I'm doing this. So I bought this little Nicholson file. Uh, it's a nice file though. This is, uh, this is a Nicholson, sorry, I can't read the numbers on here. This is a, a, a double O, so it's fairly sharp, uh, fairly coarse. And I got it for doing, uh, basically bite zone and button work. And I have a collection of files that I use just for that. And I keep them, I mean, you can, you can kind of see, let me see if I can point to it right there that cardboard tube right there that's like where i stick these things and that's bad you know uh not that this cost a fortune but it was about 20 bucks a little, little thing like that and for my really expensive swiss made files that i use for for the bulk of shaping the stem i've got this nice wooden rack that they fit in and, you know, so they can't bang against one another 
uh, they're, they're, they're going to be very safe in that. But I was thinking for these little guys, I'd really like to have something where I could just, you know, just stick it in like that. And I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm not looking for quality leather goods. I just want to make something that can protect the files so I can toss them all in a drawer. All the files that I use for the bite zone and the button. And I've got a pretty good collection of those. I've got, uh, this is another Nicholson. Now this is a number four. It's incredibly smooth. I mean, you, can, you, you can't even feel the teeth on that. Uh, great for, for a final finish. I mean, you can go right to the buffer off of this one. Uh, this is a number one, I think, Nicholson. And uh, I like this one because it just, it, it's great for shaping around the button. Uh, getting the height right and getting the curve of the button right. So I really like this pipe for this pipe, this file for that. And then I got a collection, I got a little diamond file that I use in the slot. And a collection of these needle files that I've modified in various ways that I use inside the slot to, to shape that. So it just would be nice to have a, you know, something I could do with these. And I was thinking of getting a block of wood and drawing holes in it. And I thought, I got all these leather scraps. Maybe I can do something with that. And one thing led to another. And now I'm sitting down here doing leather work. I need another hobby. Like I need a hole in the head. Um, and it's not going to be a hobby. I'm not going to become a leather guy. I just, I bought... A bunch of leather scraps because I use them like for example uh, oh, it's in the vice thing. So this is a really useful tool for me I, I put a stem in this and I put it in the vise and I can angle it any way I want uh, it's it's got leather in here for two reasons one is it cushions and protects the stem but it also provides a little bit of grip so I use leather a lot in that way um, you know on, on jigs and things like that so I bought this pile of leather scraps for like I don't know eight dollars or something on Amazon it's a company that makes I think they're in Argentina and they make leather goods and sell them for uh, for charity purposes and they sell their scraps for the same reason so yeah good cause and I, I got to get some nice you know this it's not you're not going to make a handbag out of it or anything it's got marks on it and stuff but for what I'm using it's great and I thought well why not I'll just yeah that's what I needed to be doing but the files will be safe I love files I I, I think um, it's funny I was never a file guy when I was doing woodworking and stuff but when I started working on pipes I began to really understand them and uh, you can do a lot with files that I, I think most people don't realize just how useful they are. Um, so they're worth protecting. Because sharpening them, I mean, you can, there are companies that will chemically sharpen them and that supposedly works, but uh, it's not something you want to do routinely. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to finish that. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, there'll eventually be a picture of it. Hopefully today. If you haven't watched uh, the last Friday live stream uh, with Les Wood, that was that was a lot of fun. I, I highly recommend it. Uh, Les is a great guy, and his uh, his knowledge of the pipe world is just unprecedented and I, I actually traded some emails with him after the show and said you know maybe in six months it will bring you back because he know he's he's got a lot of stories you know and, uh, not I'm not talking about how do you make a pipe but just you know he's he knows everybody he knew everybody um, I, I just think it would be great to have another hour to chat with him and, and to just hear some stories so we're probably going to do that.
And of course, next Friday, we're doing the Windjammer Jam, the live tin opening. That, that's going to be a good time. You can still get in on that if you want to. Just send me an email, canerodpiper at gmail.com. Um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to that. One more thing I wanted to, wanted to chat about a little today is um, your comments. I really appreciate your comments. I read every one of them. Uh, you know, I get notifications on my phone when comments come in so I can look at them as they come in. And I always say, okay, I'm going to sit down later tonight. I'm going to respond to the comments. And I, I think it's important to respond to the comments. I'm way behind. I'm at least a week and a half, maybe two weeks behind in responding. And I wanted to apologize for that. I'll get back to you if you've left a comment. I, I will. Uh, I just need a block of time to do it, and right now I'm doing leather work. <laughs> uh, I, no, I, I do sincerely apologize for for that because I I think it's important. I think it's you know you you take the time to write something to me, and you know sure if you just write great chat, I'm just going to give you a thumbs up. But if you take the time to actually craft a comment or ask a question, I, I think I have a responsibility to to respond to that. I'll catch up. I think I've lost the light on my haunted bookshelf. So that's it for me, guys. Um, get this relit. Desperately waiting the arrival of spring. Engaging in hobbies that I have no time for. Really enjoying every minute of life. Yeah, can't complain about that, right? I hope you're having an equally good Sunday. I hope you've got something to occupy your, your time and your mind. And don't forget, people close to you are an important part of that. Take more time out for them. That's one of the reasons I've... Uh, I've had less time to do things down here is that, you know, I'm trying to spend more time with my wife just because she deserves it and I enjoy it. So don't forget to do that. All right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Remember, join us this Friday for the Windjammer Jam. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And if we all open it up and go, ooh, uh, <laughs> it'll still be fun. So I hope you all have a nice Sunday, great week ahead. And until we talk again, I'll look forward to speaking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.